A spirited welcome from the supporters. The perfect start to qualifying. Sufferers just imperious here tonight. Cracking free kick, he has done it again. A vital three points on the journey to Qatar. Five seconds to the video, or five seconds to me. Hello and welcome to Stadium Australia. This is the scene for the Socceroos uh, training session ahead of their huge World Cup qualifier, of course, against Saudi Arabia coming up on Thursday night in Australia. My name is Michael Zapponi. Welcome to Socceroos Insider. And uh, joining me for a big show coming up, some big guests. Uh, Tony Vidmar will be joining us in a moment, uh, as well as Mark Milligan, Milay Sturjovski, and Martin Boyle will be joining us. The players are just about to arrive inside Stadium Australia. A man who knows this place very well is Tony Vidmar. Vidi, thanks for joining us. Is that the take going? Excellent, mate. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's planned for today because uh, obviously yesterday there were only five players here. We've got a few more in camp now. Yeah, today is uh, for players, especially who arrived uh, last night, uh, to be uh, a bit of activation just to uh, to get the body uh, moving again. Then we'll go into a little bit of uh, tactical, uh, tactical work with the numbers we've got. We're still waiting on the handful of players. Uh, and then uh, a bit of fun as well, so the boys can be uh, relaxed. Yeah, a bit of fun. Tell us a little bit about some of the drills that you, you, you get involved yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I try Down sometimes. Whenever, yeah, whenever, whenever there's a, uh, a spare player, I always uh, ask Clarky if I can join in. So yeah. it's a bit of fun, you know. The boys uh, enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, as I said, that uh, bit of activation perhaps takes that through, and uh, then we'll go into uh, Arnie's uh, tactical piece. And uh, quite a big chunk of the players arrived late last night from Europe, and uh, a handful tomorrow. And it's not a long time for you know for, the, for those watching and the fans sitting at home thinking about the preparation. It doesn't seem like a lot of time. How do you get them cherry ripe for Thursday night? Uh, look, the messaging uh, from Arnie is, uh, is quite important and uh, I think uh, the players have been, been here long enough now with Arnie that they know what to expect. Uh, nothing really changes in, in, in how we want to play and how we uh, prepare for the game. Uh, so, as it is, you know, boys are back in Australia, back home. Uh, they're buzzing and loving it and I think that uh, uh, with, a, with a full house, will be uh, uh, and the inspiration that uh, our boys need. This place is wonderful. Bankwest Stadium is also uh, in fantastic condition. I was lucky enough to 
go there uh, yesterday and have a look around. It's in perfect condition. Two, two years since our last home game yeah. on home soil. We've seen some of the players meet up with family and friends in the hotel in a very controlled yep. environment. Things are a little bit different post-COVID, but how much of a lift will the players get from playing inside their own home stadium? Oh, look, uh, uh, for a number of them, they haven't seen their families for uh, for a couple of years, so uh, there's uh, there's a bit of a uh, emotion in, in that. Uh, I can t we can totally understand that, and uh, hopefully that uh, the controlled emotion that we take into the game and uh, look what we're here for. We're here to play football. We're here to win three points, and uh, I think that's the the drive that the players are are here. Now, uh, just over there, Vidi, uh, 16 <laughs> years ago, almost to this day, you stepped up for a. Uh, pretty important moment in your life and in everyone's uh, football fans life and what are your recollections oh look it's uh, it holds a lot of uh, memories for me in this uh, the stadium the you know the performance of the players uh, but to uh, to step up uh, on the penalty spot which is uh, one thing that I uh, very rarely did and to uh, to convert it still uh, it still gives me goosebumps and uh, yeah, <clears throat> great, uh, yeah, great moment. And, and this, you know, the stadium here is uh, is, is unbelievable. And uh, yeah, it. Uh, you know, I don't think I could uh, take it again now. <laughs> <laughs> and you took it with the opposite too, didn't you? Yeah, like, I took it with my left foot. Everyone keeps t telling me about why you took it with your left foot. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was just in that moment that uh, you know the left foot was the right one to, you know, to take it. Now uh, the players are just arriving, as you'll uh, see, and uh, they're about to get started. Martin Boyle will join us uh, in a moment. A couple of social media questions for you before we get stuck in. When will we see two brothers don the green and gold again? Of course, you and your brother really are a big part of the Socceroos. Yeah, look, that's uh, you know the uh, you know, the A League is uh, starting up in a couple of weeks, so. Uh, uh, Possibly uh, both uh, Toure's uh, are the uh, the ones that uh, possibly coming through. So uh, it's a big, uh, big year for both of those uh, players, both being in uh, uh, junior national teams. So uh, they potentially could be the ones that uh, stand out. And uh, from M. Ventura Motta, what type of side can we expect uh, against Saudi Arabia from the Socceroos? Uh, look, it's, uh, you know, so we're, we're here to, uh, to get the win. So we're going to go out uh, with uh, an attacking formation, but also making sure that uh, defensively we're uh, organised, they're, uh, you know, they're a, uh, a good outfit, so uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we don't uh, get carried away, but uh, a performance that uh, the boys would be proud of. All right, and uh, one uh, bloke who's made us proud over the last uh, year or so is Martin Boyle. He joins us now. Uh, come in, Martin. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Great to see you. No, you can stay. You, no, you stay over there. Stay, don't kick Vidi out. I'm here for, no, I'm, I'm here for translation. <laughs> Vidi's going to ask you a question too. Great to have you here, mate. You almost, uh, you almost didn't make it. There's been a bit of a journey over the last few days for you. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a hectic last 10 days for myself. Um, obviously, I've got the all clear, which is great. So, looking forward to get going. Tell us a little bit about what happened for those of us who, who don't know the full story. Um, so, obviously, there was a, a few positive tests um, on the day of the match day and I was a close contact although I was double vaccinated and um, negative there was a, you know I think there was a 14 day um, period where you had to be out of it and I got to 13 days and um, so it was a bit infuriating for myself you know I was one day out so thankfully the government and, and myself we had a, a chat in the club and obviously Arne um, he had managed to help me out which was great. Did he, uh, you know, these are the things you have to deal with as a coaching staff, right? But how important uh, has it been uh, to, to have him here over the last few camps and, and for this one? Yeah, Boyle is a, uh, a player that uh, you always want to have in camp. He's, uh, you know, the, the joker, the, the fun guy, but also on the field he's, uh, he's very serious and, uh, you know, his quality is, uh, is important for us. He's had a, a fantastic start with, uh, with Hibs this season and uh, he's, uh, he's always been a... Uh, one of our better, best uh, field players uh, in the campaign. Scoring plenty of goals too, uh, Martin, uh, both uh, with your club and, and with your country. You, you scored the other day against Tommy Rogic's side, although they got the better of you. But uh, you know, how, how, uh, how are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm in a, I'm in a good place at the moment. Um, you know, I'm playing with freedom, which is, which is always a good thing. And yeah, thankfully I've managed to get off to a great start, um, scoring goals, which, which I love doing, and also creating chances for my teammates, um, which is brilliant. And, you know, obviously bringing that into the Socceroos camp, which is, is important for me, and yeah, I obviously want to keep improving. Yeah, no doubt you'll, you'll be fully aware of what's happening uh, at Bankwest Stadium, uh, or Combank Stadium as it's called now, and uh, huge, it'll be a huge crowd, first time in front of a massive home crowd. I know you played in Brisbane, your first game for the Socceroos, but it's been a long time coming. Yeah, also I would mean, like to have been here more often, and um, you know, COVID's been a bit of an issue um, as well, so yeah, obviously, 
training here today is great memories and obviously Brisbane was fantastic and yeah, you know, the adrenaline and the excitement's kicking in. Can't wait to go in front of the fans. All again. right, we've got a couple of social media questions before we let you go back uh, into training from our fans, our Socceroos fans. So uh, this is from Mitch Duke, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Duke, what's life like being four foot eight? <laughs> Yeah, it's great. Uh, obviously, he's got the advantage of being tall, but you know, it's um, if I do slap him in the back of the neck, he, he can't catch me. He might cop one at training uh, t today. Uh, he's just gone in to get ready. But uh, uh, Tyler, uh, who would be the best MMA fighter amongst the Socceroos? Uh, Vukovic, 100%. Hands I was down. Say, yeah. yeah, his hands are massive, and if he gets anyone in a headlock, it's game over. <laughs> What's it like playing against other Aussies uh, in Scotland, like uh, Tommy Rogic, uh, we just touched on? Yeah, it's obviously, you know, he's a, he's a special player. He's been great. Um, obviously, it's tough on the receiving end like we did the other day. Um, but, you know, I managed to out jump him for the header for the corner, which I'm, I'm not going to let him live down. But, you know, he's, he's a phenomenal player and he's, he's done great things at Sally. And a couple last ones. Is it Haggis or Vegemite? Haggis. I think that's it. I think that's it. I knew it needs to let him go. What about you, Vinny? You lived in Scotland, played in Scotland. Haggis uh, or Vegemite? Actually, Haggis was not bad. Not bad? It wasn't bad. <laughs> and I think I'll stick to the Vegemite. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Before, uh, before we let you go, uh, uh, Matthew Leckie has been uh, he's back, and it's great to have him back. Uh, how important will he be for us, uh, Vinny? Oh yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's probably a player we've uh, uh, missed in the in the past uh, campaign. So uh, the experience uh, that he gives uh, the the team uh, is uh, is important for us. Uh, so uh, we need uh, every every player available. All right. Uh, here's Matthew Lecky now talking about uh, his return to Australia. Yeah, it was good to be back. Just to see familiar faces that I've missed for a few months and. Uh, here around the camp and I'm buzzing for the boys, the rest of the boys to get in as well. I don't actually remember the last time we were allowed to shoot here, so, uh, you know, it was nice. It's uh, been a tough last few months, you know, not being able to come on a personal level. It was tough watching, you know, um, it's been a very long time since I've been out of, outside the camp and the boys played exceptional and, uh, you know, Although I would have loved to have been there, um, you know, I was buzzing with the results and it's probably more nervous watching than being out there. It's going to be a very special game coming up, you know, finally getting, getting to play back in Australia uh, with fans and I'm sure the boys that are overseas are going to be buzzing to be back and be able to play around friends and family as well. Yeah. Is he coming in right now? Three, two. Great to see Matthew Leckie back and great to see these uh, two Socceroos with us uh, in the stadium as well. They know this place uh, pretty well. Also, Mile Stojovski, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Ten years with the Socceroos. Uh, Favourite moment? Um, well, there's been quite a few, but I'd have to say the, the World Cup in 2006 and especially getting the result against Croatia, that was pretty special. That was, I was, that was in Stuttgart that night, wasn't it? I yeah. was there and I uh, remember... You know, after the after the game, all the fans stayed in the stadium, didn't they? They didn't want to go home. And I think you went back. Did you go back into the that's, rooms and then came back out? That's right. We were inside the change room, and then we got called to come out. And um, both sets of fans were out and giving us a standing ovation. So it was it was pretty special. And uh, Mark Milligan, uh, who's only just finished playing, he uh, looks like he can still uh, play uh, football. Come in, Millsy. Yeah, great to have you here. Yeah, <laughs> no, you great to have. Have, I think you have to be technically socially distanced. So stand away from each other just a little bit. <laughs> Great to have you here, mate. Uh, again, you, 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 you spent so many years with the Socceroos. Do you feel like you want to get back in there and, and have a kick? No, no. I'm happy watching. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you're, you're doing now. Obviously, you're with Channel 10. Good to see you uh, uh, in front of the camera these days. Enjoying that? Yeah, a little bit of an adjustment. But yeah. um, no, enjoying it. It's getting a little bit easier. It's, <laughs> yeah. Standing on the other side, asking the questions is a bit different to getting asked the questions. But no, it's been enjoyable. Now you know why I've got so many grey hairs. <laughs> hey? It's not that. It's not that easy. Yeah, boys. Uh, no doubt you're keeping a close eye on the Socceroos. Uh, Mille, I'll start with you. Um, what are you expecting from from the team on on Thursday? Oh, definitely a, a win. You know, I think it's it's never an easy game. Um, but having the the home ground advantage should work in our favour and. Um, you know, I think if we're, we're disciplined and we use our strengths, um, you know, especially our attacking players who can get in behind, I think we'll, we'll get a result. Now, uh, talking about attacking threat, the Melbourne City trio were one of the first to arrive in camp. Uh, obviously, we've seen Andrew Naboot make his return to the squad after almost three years. Uh, Jamie McLaren is back and Matt Leckie. 
tell us a little bit about what you, what you like about those and, and do you think they'll play a big role on Thursday? I mean, we'd like to see them all, all be involved, you know, but um, coming off a great season, obviously last year, I think um, you know, Jamie's in, in top form. Um, you know, I'm sure he'll get uh, on the score sheet, or would hope so. Um, and it's good to see Matt, Matt Leckie back in the, in the team, in the squad, and, you know, I'd like to, get, uh, like to see him get a lot of minutes, you know, and, and see what he can do. Mills, obviously you know uh, those guys really well. well what, what, what do they bring to, to this side? Yeah, I think it's, well, they all bring leadership I think and especially Matt Leckie I think he's very very valuable to have not only for what he brings football wise but what he brings from experience and, and his leadership on the pitch I think that's um, that's massive and uh, as, as uh, Millet touched on I think Maka will, will bring goals he's been doing that for the last few years and Naboo brings the energy so it, it's good to see them back into the fold. That game against Nepal, that was the last time that Jamie McLaren played on home soil for the Socceroos. You played that night as well, didn't you? Yes, that was my last game for the Socceroos yeah. as well. On home soil? On, no, last I, game. I went to the next game, but I, I wasn't okay. involved in the next one. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, no, fantastic night. Um, Jamie's first hat trick, I think. He was yeah. telling us all about it for quite a while. <laughs> so I think plenty of more plenty more of that to come from him. All right, let's hear from uh, Jamie McLaren now on uh, coming back home to play for the Socceroos and some of his memories of that night in Canberra. The, the last sort of home game that we had was in Canberra and um, every sort of goal, the crowd were up in their, on their feet and, and making some noise and the stadium's a bit more compact so it's going to make even more noise. To not have that for a few years, um, it'll be special walking out for the warm-up. Uh, I really can't wait to, to see it. Um, we've got such a, a passionate country like Australia, you know, that can now come out to our games and watch us. Irvine, McLaren, is this the hat trick? It is. My father came to the last game clearly, and um, that kind of work, a little bit superstitious like that. And how often do they get to come and watch me play Socceroos games or, or be involved with Socceroos? I've scored a few goals in this stadium, which bring back some nice memories, and I think I'll stick to my my normal one that's been working. That one. Yeah, great to see Jamie McLaren back in the squad. Uh, Mark, with uh, a couple of other new players, uh, well, relatively new in, t in terms of uh, the last few years, Riley McGree. He's uh, certainly grown over the last few months. He's playing in Birmingham, playing regularly, and it looks like uh, he's someone that could really uh, make an impact over the next week. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, it was a number of years ago when he first came in and you could see his ability in with us from the very beginning and uh, you know what he did at Adelaide early on as well and, and obviously through Newcastle and I think going overseas and now playing regularly and doing well uh, it's it's massive for us here to have those sorts of options uh, he did very well at the Olympics he was very much I feel the go-to man for that team and I think he can play a number of positions which is very important I think in that front third he's he's very dangerous he has a final ball on him which is very important and I think he has a big future and uh, Mitchell Duke, a uh, bloke you know pretty well, uh, Mille, uh, he's played 100 games in Japan now. It's, uh, it's sort of crept up on us, but uh, he's spent a lot of time overseas. He's come to the A-League, gone, gone back overseas, but he seems to be in a really good place. And uh, every time he puts on that green and gold shirt, he seems to score recently yeah, too. Like, he's done really well, especially the last few seasons, um, able to get on the score sheet. And, you know, it's not an easy league to, to, to play in, in Japan. And, and, and he's, like you said, he's played a lot of games. Uh, scored quite a few goals, so and it's great to see that he's bringing that form into the Socceroos. Um, again, hopefully he can get some minutes and get on the score sheet as well. All right, Socceroos Insider is all about the fans, boys. So we've got some uh, questions for both of you. There have been plenty coming through today, so we've picked out the best. Uh, so apologies to those we haven't got to. So firstly for Mille, from Jezza, advice for boys come Thursday night. What would you be uh, your advice to, to the players playing in front of that big home crowd? Uh, use the use the energy from the home crowd to you know to get up for the game and um, just just play uh, to enjoy and play to the tactics and everything will be fine. This is uh, from another follower. Uh, his name is Mitchell Duke. He sent a question through. <laughs> he said. Has it been hard to play with a big beak? <laughs> he would know. <laughs> he would know. You can probably hear us too. That was naughty for Mitchell Duke. And from Trent Sainsbury, favourite Mariners teammate? Uh, definitely, definitely him. Definitely I'll take that for now. <laughs> He'll watch it on replay. I'll tell you the truth afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Millsy, uh, coaching career, something you've, you've embarked on. One of the questions has come through and said, would you like to coach a Socceroos one day? Oh, well, I think everyone wants to be a part of the Socceroos. Being an Australian footballer, being fortunate enough to play, um, you know, absolutely. I think that's, uh, that's a long journey uh, to go on, but you might as well aim high. 
And uh, from Catalina, favourite moment of your career? There have been so many uh, for the Socceroos for you. Yeah, I've been fortunate. Probably probably two. Probably um, the first game in, in Germany against, uh, against Japan. Uh, that was a fantastic experience. Um, obviously, Mille knows all about that probably. And, uh, and here, at this stadium, um, the Asian Cup against, against South Korea, that was, that was unbelievable. Yeah, uh, an Asian Cup win in this uh, uh, stadium, uh, another memorable moment in the history of Australian football and let's hope uh, there'll be some many more uh, uh, on Thursday night uh, with a huge crowd there. A reminder of uh, the table and how it sits in uh, this qualification group. Uh, the Socceroos, of course, sitting in second position. Saudi Arabia, four wins from four. It's going to be a, a really big night of football on Thursday night. Don't forget, you can catch all the action on 10. Millsy will be there too, won't you, Millsy? Yes, I'll yeah. be there. Uh, catch it all on 10 uh, if you're not at the stadium and uh, we look forward to seeing as many of you there. There's still some tickets available. It will be a big crowd and don't forget it's not just the Saudis uh, in this window. Uh, the Socceroos do head over to Dubai to head and play against China. That game Thursday morning at 2, oh, Wednesday morning I should say, 2 a.m. Uh, it's one that you either set the alarm for that or do you stay through the night? Stay through the stay night. Stay through it's the too night. Hard to yeah. 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 I'll We're, be up for that one as well. Yeah, be <laughs> so we'll all have our alarms up uh, at 2 o'clock on Wednesday morning. A huge week for Australian football. Thank you so much for tuning in and, uh, and your support of the Soccer Roost. Thank you to Millet and to Mark for joining us as well Pleasure. from Stadium Australia. The boys are uh, going through their warm-up at the moment. We look forward to seeing green and gold shirts uh, right packed on Thursday night at uh, Combank Stadium. Thanks again for tuning in to Soccer Roost Insider. A spirited welcome from the supporters. The perfect start to qualifying. Supper is just imperious here tonight. Cracking free kick, he has done it again. A vital three points on the journey to Qatar.